hi there so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work with gravity forms PayPal add-on first thing we are going to do is we are going to install this plugin so as you know there are two ways to install this plugin first is by going to plugins page and clicking on add new after that you click on upload button and then you point your gravity forms paypal plugin and upload it right now i have already uploaded it and it appears in my gravity forms add-ons page so this is the second method which you can use you can also go to this add-ons page and then click on install like this and then it will be installed and it will show the sign as active after that you go to the settings page and click on paper okay here you select paypal ipn setting so what this exactly means is that whenever you are creating a transaction with the help of paypal your address for notification is right here and it ends with a pin that ipn number will needs to be configured in your paypal account once you set that check this box and then go back to your form and you can regularly create your IPN transactions with the help of this plugin so let's create a new form and you will find that after using this add-on you have this PayPal info added into widget let's create payment form click on creating forms here so I created a new form give it a title and I am now going to design that form okay so here I have advanced fields for post okay so I have here pricing field where I can use credit card shipping total product and quality also standard fields that I can use here for example let's say let's add a, something here so let's use something like oh, look, quantity okay so you can simply say product quantity or product name or you can just scratch that and select from pricing fields for example let's say you want to have product here okay so you have your product name here and something like let's say cheesecake and you want to set some specific quantity price should be here five dollar for a cheesecake and you will find here and the quantity will be selected in the form then you use credit card add-on and whatever the transaction done should be redirected to our paypal transaction okay so let's update the form now I have my form saved okay so let's go and create a page we create a new page here you can also preview for the time being how your form looks here you'll find a payment form here so you have cheesecake priced five dollars you can add quantity four 
and this is unsecure page so there is no HTTPS so that warning will be here so we can type the credit card number here then month here security code expiration date and card holders name so these are the fields that we are going to add so let's add a form select form payment form insert it okay buy now page let me publish this one so you can see how your product product page will look like now click on view page you have your payment form here with cheesecake quantity to add here three okay you can also add a total here so total needs to be paid so whenever you're designing your form just add one more pricing field here as total it will be added down here checking up to here okay so this is total field appearance advance so how it should look so total field needs to be dependent on quantity so let's make it required okay so there are controls like no need to update let's save the form and go back here okay. right so here so whenever I add quantity as 3 or let's say 33 also with 30 price will be automatically changed so whatever you add in your form here as your price point and total needs to be here okay so that's how it works and with PayPal being set up you can add these details and submit your payment form so anybody can now pay for your product and you can collect the money with the help of separate gravity forms and your PayPal account so no need for using any external service like let's say Braintree payments stripe authorize etc if the product is simple price is relatively low under 50 or so dollars I suggest using this method to collect the form payment so yeah let's revise this once again what we did is first we downloaded our PayPal add-on by going to either add-ons page or from plugins add new and we searched to the zip file and upload it from there after that we created a new form and we dropped product then total and credit card as our three fields and now final form looks something like this also one more thing is setting your paypal ipn related setting in your gravity forms configuration page so that's how we set up paypal with your gravity forms product form and you can create check out our shopping cart page and that's how you sell on your blog or website so i hope this method helped you to create a product page so if you have any questions if you have any suggestions or have any other workflow for this do let me know in the comments thank you for watching